Howdy folks, I'm Brian, I'm Amber, and here's some Reddit. Our first letter is titled, Am I a jerk for not telling my cousin my fiancé works at the same office as her husband? First and only post, I mainly lurk. I thought stuff like this only happened in the movies, but it happened, and I would like some unbiased opinions, more lighthearted than some of the other posts on here. I have a cousin, Kat, who got married to Henry earlier this year. We weren't close as kids, she was pretty spoiled and would always brag about how much designer stuff she has and be really mean to people under the guise of just trying to help, etc. Don't go out of your way to interact with one or another, but I do see her as family events and whatnot and I try to make small talk. Well, I'm engaged to Chris, who is a software engineer. He's the co-head of his department and works with two other people. Not too long ago, Chris was telling me about how they had some new employees and one of them sounded really familiar. He told me the name and I realized it was Kat's husband. Also, he and Henry hadn't met face to face yet. Kat and Henry had a huge wedding. It was really nice, but all she did for months was brag about how amazing her wedding was. The wedding stuff died down, and so now recently she started going on about how wealthy her husband is and what a great lifestyle they have. One of my other aunts celebrated her 50th about a week ago. I went with Chris and Kat and Henry were there. We were chatting and Kat was saying how Henry has a fantastic new job that pays even more than his previous one. Henry chimed in and also said that they were already planning to buy a new house. Kat asked what Chris does. I said he's a software engineer like Henry and also has a good job. But I'll admit I left out the part where he works on purpose. She smiled and nodded and said it's fine. She understands that I'm embarrassed and want to keep it quiet. So that was pretty much that and the end of our conversation. When we were leaving, she pulled me aside and told me to quote, let her know and Henry know if we needed anything to help with the wedding. Obviously, I knew what she meant and it was just another dig, but I said bye and left. Literally two days later, I get a DM from Kat and she is furious, well as much as one can be through text, that I didn't tell them that Chris was one of Henry's bosses. Henry was shocked to see him in the office and Chris made a comment. Tell Kat, OP, that me and her don't need her help, but thanks for offering. Henry was really embarrassed and so was Kat. And she said that we made them look bad on purpose. And if she knew, then she would have never made those comments. It was my duty to tell her and Henry. Chris and I had a really good laugh over this, but she sent a text out to the group chat and have been saying how she was blindsided by me. And a few others said that what we did was pretty wrong. So, am I the jerk? All right, folks, what do you think? Jerk or not the jerk? Not the jerk. OP, look, I don't think that you're the jerk in this situation. I think that Kat was being spoiled. I think that she was being entitled. And I think that she was too busy being in her own bubble to even really care about what your husband did. She just was wanting to rag on you. And she was going to rag on you in whatever way she could. And it just happened that it's caught up to her, right? And as for like the duty to tell you or not, they found out eventually, right? So what did it matter if it was a little bit later, a couple of days later? So that's kind of my thoughts here. So no, I don't think you're a jerk. Anyhow, take care and good luck. And Fine Prume 743 says, not the jerk, and I love the way you handled it. It was better than the way I would have handled it, which would have been to publicly and loudly ask her how her husband liked working for my husband. But I have a habit of making things worse. It's not my best trait. <laughs> And Aggressive Fudge 5759 says, I wonder why Henry didn't recognize Chris at the family union. I'd notice if my boss was somewhere, even if there were like 200 or more attendees. Or is Henry so junior and engineer that he hasn't even met the heads of the department? Not the jerk. Kat is embarrassed and also annoyed that she can't brag and one-up you. So she's telling you off as a way to clamber back power over you. Stand your ground and don't apologize. You can say, I understand that you're embarrassed, but I didn't do anything wrong. If you didn't talk down to people, this would never be an issue. Ignore all those whining people she enlists to complain on her behalf. They're all wrong. Our next letter is titled, Am I the jerk for leaving my husband at the airport after he tried to make me carry his luggage? 
My husband is 32 years old and he went on a business trip that lasted for four weeks. He got back and told me to come and pick him up. I drove to the airport and got inside to get him from there. The second he saw me, he let go of his two bags and started walking. I tried to get him to stop, but he told me to get his bags and follow him. Note that I'm 12 week pregnant, but he tells me that I'm still in good shape and I told him that those bags were too heavy for me to carry, but he went on a rant about how exhausted he was from sitting on that plane for four hours straight. Such exhaustion. <laughs> His arms, neck, legs, and back all hurt. I <laughs> almost like he was pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I refused to take a step with those bags, and I told him that it's his luggage and he's got to deal with it. His tone got more tense and told me that I was being annoying. I told him to get someone else to carry his bags for him, and he replied, I already have one and it's you. Come on, I'm so tired of standing here. Then kept walking and ignoring me. I left his luggage where they were and I walked straight past him. He freaked out and started yelling at me to get back. I walked out and got into my car and I drove off because I was literally having none of it. I felt so upset and humiliated. He got home by a taxi but was livid at me for leaving him at the airport just because he asked for my help. He also said that I embarrassed him and made a scene and overreacted big time. He went upstairs and stayed in the bedroom after the shower. He's still upset with me saying that I reacted poorly and unsupportively and in an appropriate manner. Am I the jerk and was this an overreaction? All right, folks, what do you think? Jerk or not the jerk? Not the jerk. OP, you're not a jerk here. This guy was trying to treat you like he, you were his personal packy mule. What? No, you're not the jerk. And I think that this is exactly what you needed to do to show him that you weren't going to be pushed around by him and that you weren't just going to pick up and carry heavy bags that were too heavy for you to carry. I can certainly understand, like, asking for someone's help, but these were his bags and if he doesn't like carrying them, then get rolling luggage, plain and simple. Rolling luggage is widely available and you don't have to carry it. That's, that's my thoughts. And also, like, who tells their pregnant wife to lift bags that are too heavy for them, right? That, like, that, that does, that's just, like, poor form, period. That's my thought. Let me know what you folks think. Anyhow, take care and good luck. And our next letter is titled, Am I a Jerk for Wanting to Report This Creepy Slash Weird Guy at the Gym? There is a content warning on this one. It does kind of involve uh, harassment slash stalky kind of behavior, so keep that in mind. There is a guy at this gym who recently started showing up at the gym where I work out often. When he first came, I saw him introduce himself to everyone while interrupting their workouts, and he finally approached me as well. At the time, I didn't think too much of it, I just figured he was being friendly given he might be a regular now. Now, I don't want to come off as rude, but the gym is my time. It's one of the few times of the day that I can detox from stress. I'll always almost have my headphones on and I don't like being approached. Not that many people do anyways. Over time, this guy, we'll just call him Nate, has gone up to me and asked me for all kinds of things. This one day while I was benching with headphones in, Nate went up to me and asked if I needed a spot. I clearly said that I did not need a spot, but every now and again, he'll come by when I was benching and ask and try to convince me otherwise. It's as if if he asked me enough times, I would cave in. I just thought he wanted to be helpful and was oblivious to how annoying he was getting. Here's where things start getting a little weird. Nate started waiting outside for me when I finished, trying to strike up conversation with me. I'd normally engage and talk because I didn't really want to come off as rude, but every time I would find some excuse to cut the conversation short. Now for my gym attire. I wear a spare sports bra and leggings, or occasionally I'll wear a cropped long sleeve. Either way, my belly is always showing. It's not to show off, although I have the body for it, so lol. It's a comfort thing. Well, one day, I was in yet another conversation with Nate, and somehow, he thought it would be cool to compliment my belly button ring. He said my belly button ring really complimented my toned body. I, I was a little weirded out, and it was so awkward, and I said, okay, I really have to get going. Well, yesterday, it was the creepiest. After I finished working out, and I was on my way out, these two girls behind me, who were also leaving, stopped me. 
They said that while they were working out, this guy near them was recording me while I was doing squats. I asked them who it was, and I realized quickly they were talking about Nate. This creeped me out, but I kept my cool and thanked them for telling me. I'm going to go to the gym soon, and I'm seriously considering reporting Nate to the staff. The gym is one of my safe places from stress uh, of the day and where I can be myself. I do not want to lose that because of a creeper at the gym. So, all right, folks, what do you think? Jerk or not the jerk? I'm not the jerk. So, OP, I don't think you would be the jerk for reporting Nate. At this point in time, he's really starting to cross boundaries. He's really starting to uh, basically violate your space. And the recording, I think, was way over line like i can certainly understand someone who doesn't understand that they're coming across as annoying but he knows what he's doing he's recording you in secret and he's also you know doing this in a uh really kind of ungood way so that alone like the recording i think that's fine to report someone for that if they're sitting there people do not need to feel uncomfortable when they're at the gym and it sounds like he's kind of ramping up his efforts. He's, you know, trying to work on you, so to speak. And I think that that's not cool here. So that's kind of my thought. Anyhow, take care and good luck. Not the jerk. I was going to say you should just ask him to leave you alone. But then you got here. The guy near them was recording while I was squatting. Yeah, he's a creep. Report him. Don't bury the lead next time. This guy's trying to frog boil OP and I don't like where it's heading. Report. Not the jerk, the guy was recording you. Why are you even asking? All right, folks, it is tea time. Grab your beverages of choice. I have a beverage. I have water. Amber has water. And we've got jokes. If two's company and three's a crowd, what are four and five? Nine. <laughs> Apparently Amber's got the pattern of this book down. <laughs> Nine, indeed. And I have Earl Grey. All right, folks, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, consider giving it a like. And if you didn't, consider giving it a dislike. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a happy Wednesday or Friday, Junior's Eve. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you all tomorrow.